Here we are in the Rosenberg room. Rosen Rosenberg room, then. It's every bit as ostentatious as a hallway, isn't it? Did anyone say this Richmond court was a deserted ghost house? Well, the ghosts certainly seem to be having some nice furniture. The place is, this place is swanky. I'm starting to think perhaps all the rumors about this place are unfounded. Miss Layton, Cheryl, Miss, Mr. Zlo Zlones and Mr. Chance are over there, look. We're not the only Mongols who have picked this room then. It looks like they're discussing something. Seriously, Grant, what are we doing here? Don't you think this whole thing is a farce? Come on, Caesar, you know as well as I do that this is all about. Also, I was invited here to Richmond Court of all places. Yes, but why now? It's been seven years since it happened. And in any case, no one else besides the seven knows what went on. True, I don't understand it either. Which is why we have no choice but to agree to this charade. Come on, we're supposed to be finding a pose in this room, remember? Oh, so there is something here. I don't know what they're alluding to there, but anyway, they don't sound like they found a puzzle yet. Let's go and talk to them. I'm curious about something. Nice. Chairs. Nice. Oh, I thought it was going to be another hint coin. <coughs> there is a hint coin. And a puzzle. Hmm. This clock is a little peculiar, don't you think? Why? It's not the right time, isn't it? Exactly, but it's supposed to be an old abandoned place. You wouldn't expect any clocks in here to tell the correct time, would you? No, that's true. That is very strange. And someone's very kindly hidden a puzzle in it as well. Shall we like to do the honors? Me? <laughs> Houses of Hanoi 3. Oh, joy, this one. Uh, yeah. I don't think I ever did a 2, but I need to build like it's in a picture. So you can hear. Uh. You come here, you come here, you get here, you come here, you come here, you come here, except it's not gonna work like that, so let's put you there. <coughs> Oh, apparently there is a number limit of mo moves I can actually do. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to cut and, you know, see if I can actually get this right. See you guys then. You did it? Yeah. House of Hanoi 3. 128. You think it was the Sadamas who kept the clocks from here running? 
I'm not sure. All I can say for sure is that you have to take rumors with a pinch of salt. Yeah, I might as well talk to these guys. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Sloans, I see you've chosen the same room. Ah, Catriel, hello. This was your choice too, was it? You haven't managed to find a puzzle yet, then. <coughs> no, not yet. We've been looking, but no luck so far. It's all part of this Adamant's fund, I suppose. The ask you to see if you can find its puzzles, let alone solve them. Do, you, do either of you know Lord Adamas? Never even heard of the name before. Nor me. I don't think any of us ever know who he is. I'll tell you one thing, I'd put money on him not being a real lord. He's playing us and not like that. This whole puzzle party idea stinks. But I said rather to the ask about it before. I must say though, the stakes are alarmingly high. True, you could win the rich man's fortune, but on the other hand you tend to lose everything you own. It is a very risky gamble. You're right there, but I've never balked at uh, taking risks before, and I'm not about to start now. If there's one thing I've learned is that the stakes are always high in business. Success doesn't come for free. Oh, I see. Yes. And of course, Lord Adamas did mention a secret that he exposed if he refused to participate. Listen, Cat. If you've been in business as long as I have, You'd have more than a few skeletons in the closet, I'm sure. Absolutely. So we'd appreciate if you didn't ask too many questions. Anyway, we've got a puzzle to find, haven't we? Aye. Time to start belly ache and start puzzle hunting. Is this it? Oh, what's this? It looks like a small fragment of red glass. Glass! Oh, do be careful, miss. You don't have to hurt yourself. Don't worry, yours. They're not very sharp. Curious, I wonder what they're for. I think they're for this, right? Now that's really something. Although, what is it, Trilly? It's not a painting, is it? That's stained glass, Trill. Have you seen any before? Oh, interesting. There are pieces of glass missing in some places. Maybe they got broken? Mr. Richmond was extremely wealthy, Cheryl. I don't imagine you would have left something like this in a state to, state to this, this repair. Good point, well made. Found a puzzle, have you, Catriel? No, not yet. We're just turning this piece of stained glass. For some reason, there's, there, are any, there are one or two pieces of glass missing from it. Well, I did hear Mr. Richmond was very ill in his final years. He probably didn't bother to keep up with repairs in this place. Mm, I don't know. It strikes me as odd. If it was the process of being repaired, it would have been, been in suit here. In which case, where are, new piece, where are the new pieces of glass? <coughs> Isn't this it? Yeah, what? Well, okay. Ah, I wonder if these... Are you onto something, Cat? Well, I wonder if this piece of glass would fit into st stained glass window. Yes. I think we discovered a hidden puzzle of the Rosenberg room. On the ball as ever, Catriel. Well done. So what's a puzzle about then? What is that I'm trying to stump us with? I don't mean it's going to be easy to solve, but that makes it all the more fun. The Red Mountain. There's an unfinished stained glass window called the Red Mountain, but most of the part of the mountain is missing. Sure that the two different panels of glass are placed alternately. Press and hold A to pick an R to rotate it. Okay, so. So, for example, I don't think. No, I can technically put it like this. But it won't fit. Yeah, it's gonna be a missing piece up there, okay, I think I... No, I think it's this one. What the hell kind of weird rotation is that?
Wait, maybe this one then. Yeah, okay, no. So let's take these pieces off real quick. Hold on, I'll... Give me a moment, okay? A few inches later. Let's start with this, okay. Let's try... <coughs> yeah, okay, maybe working a puzzle game while well, I'm sick is not the best idea because I need to use my head. So let's just... This one here first. Uh... This one here actually also fits. Uh, no, maybe. I mean, it kind of fits. Oh, okay. Mm, this should do it, I think. You did it, the run mode was complete. The uh. There, the stained glass image is complete. Very nice, cat. Well done. Oh, look, there's something written at the bottom of the box that the glass pieces were in. So there is. Allow me, miss. Um, the Rosenberg was barren. Nothing grew there. No one owned it. No one wanted it. Yet underground treasures sparkled. Great story. What does it mean? Hmm. It's not that it sounds like it has a hidden meaning, but hmm? there can any, there can't be any doubt now, Grant. Surely, it must be the same Rosenberg, which would mean this is this Adam's nose. All right, keep your hair on, Caesar. We don't know that for sure yet. Keep my hair on. We're talking about everything I've built up, my entire fortune. The tiny publishing firm I started out with, and now finally I'm in a position where I control one of London's biggest papers. I, you're not the only one who has come from humble origins. It's funny, actually. Makes me think of how we were back then, ten years ago now. Yes, ten years ago. It feels like, like an age. I worked so hard, and he was... It seems Mr. Chance and Mrs. Lones didn't manage to solve the puzzle. So they have handed over their fortunes? Unless they want to break the, th break the terms of the contract, yes. So are we enjoying ourselves? How did you find a puzzle like statue? Those who solve it are invited to move on to another room and take the next challenge. Those who failed to solve it have lost, as well, have lost everything. Please leave the room and proceed along the road to ruin. The road to where? There is a passage over there. I expect that's what he was referring to. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Losers must face in the cellars. There are those still in the game. Please have fun. Loser? I've never been a loser in my life. Settle down, Caesar. We didn't mean to solve the puzzle, so, so for the reason, we're out. Come on, let's go. Disc. They could have their tails in their in front between their legs. Understandably, on paper at least, they've just lost their entire fortunes. <laughs> ah, Nix. But they knew the, what they were getting themselves into. Anyway, we must find the next puzzle. Let's go back to the hall. Okay, so we're first from. So I guess we're gonna first do the diamond, then the sparkles of it. Rosenberg. Yeah, let's go here. Well, there are three rooms left leading you off to this entrance hall, miss. Which one do you pick now? Yeah, so there are options again. Well, there is the treasury, the hope room, and the treasury left. Mm, well, I think the next one we should tackle is the treasury. It's not like you put a lot of thought into it, but don't tell me. That was your good talking to you, wasn't it? Of course! I have succeeded all the puzzles, so my gut tells me it doesn't, me doesn't matter which room we enter next. Well, in that case, it's through the blue door, isn't it? 
Crash Fighters, in we go! But if we clear the case here on the map, there are these rooms here, which I'm assuming we're also gonna be able to enter. <coughs> so this is a treasury room, is it? It's a little dingy, isn't it? <clears throat> but still a lavish room, no question of that. Look at all the exquisite furniture and ornaments. Oh look, we have company, Miss White and Mr. Fullholder over there. Yeah, so they picked this room. What are you going to do, Mr. Fullhold? We say I'm going to find a puzzle. Yes, it's still Ludus, doesn't it? Well, I suppose we can't give up. Let's keep looking. Alright, Liza. Although, are you sure you should be doing this? We, who have agreed to, to, to take part in this game, could lose everything, all the wealth we have earned. It is dangerous, but I'm sure this Lord Adamas is only interested in myself and the others. You were just a child when it happened. I'm still technically one of the Seven Dragons, even though it's only a title I heard from my father. My butler told me all, all about that happened. He served my family for years. I was the only surviving member of the White Household, it's my little take on the gauntlet now. I see. What are they chinwagging about, eh? Whatever it is, they don't seem to have located the puzzle in this room yet. Let's ask them how they're getting on. Really, this in here is nothing? I'm sorry, I think I'm sorry I got a slight headache. Uh. Yay, one light. Two. Uh. Wait. <coughs> and three. There may be a puzzle here, but eh. Hello, Liza, Mr. Fold. Have you managed to find a puzzle here yet? Oh, I didn't hear you come in, Catriel. No, I'm afraid I haven't had any luck. It's not going well, Miss Slayton, and it makes me dr my dream of becoming a treasure hunter in the future seem very distant. But now you're here, I'm sure all that will change. Very true. You have a trusty ally in Miss Slayton, do you not? It's a very risky game we've agreed to take part in, don't you think? You could lose everything you have. I wonder, why did you agree to take part in the, f in the first place? Well, Catriel, it's like this, you see. Since my dear, dear parents passed away, my life has been filled with sadness and gloom. And recently, I've come to think that I need more. I want to be the sort of person who can face the world alone and win. I want to be worthy of my great family name. So I sort of thought I should be brave here tonight. I see, Liza. Well, that's an interesting reason. Ha ha ha. I cannot match Liza and her honorable reasons. For me, I like the thrill. I find a game with stakes so high to be irresistible. Don't you? Does it not stir the juices of, of adventure within your veins? Of course, you're a great fan of adventure, aren't you, Mr. Fool? That's right, Miss Layton. It has been my dream for many years to leave the business world behind and go in search of treasure. This is the first step. So we really ought to find the puzzle then, hadn't we? Yes, and you will join us, I hope, Miss Layton. Of course, let's find this room hidden secret. This room is hidden secret. Uh, yeah, it's obviously these two items. They're way too on the nose. Oh, look at the shiny things in there. Oh, a jewelry box. They are very beautiful pieces, aren't they? There have always been rumors about people breaking this place ever since it was abandoned. But they're actually since the 4th century, and with values like this so disturbed, it would appear the rumors were unfounded, wouldn't it? Rumors usually are. Have you found something, Catriel? Is it a puzzle? No, I'm afraid not. But we did discover a rather beautiful collection of jewelry. Oh yes, it's also pretty, isn't it? We too investigated the jewelry box, but there was no puzzle inside. No, I can't see a puzzle either, although... 
What is it? Is there something we missed? Is it that the jewelry has been organized inside the box? Or rather, how it, how it isn't organized at all? Don't you find it strange? Oh, I know exactly what you mean. I just wanted to pull it out and tidy it up. We can imagine that the owner of the jewelry box was not as meticulous as the two of you. Mm, I wonder. Ah, oh, look, there's some jewelry in this dick. Decanter there. The hell's a decanter? Shiny and sparkly, I love it. If it if I wasn't a dog, I'd be a magpie. <coughs> Strange habits some people have, putting jewelry inside a decanter. I wonder, do you suppose the jewelry in here was misplaced? Presumably it's supposed to be in a jewelry box we found before. They don't call you Sherlock for nothing, do they? Oh wait, that's me. Well, I for one can't send this disarray any longer. We must tidy it up. Let us all work. Let us all work together. Mm? Ah, wait a minute. Yes, this is it. We found a treasury puzzle. Jewel Doku. It's like Sudoku, but with jewels. Uh, hold on. Place one jewel in each of the empty spaces in the jewelry box. In the 5x5 five five grid, place the jewels so there are there is one of each different kind of horizontal and vertical in rows. Press and hold it to pick a jewel and... Uh, yeah, okay. So from what I understand, for example... Oh, okay, we cannot put here, but... For example, this jewel can't go here because there is one here and here, so it can also go here. Also, it cannot go here, so it's... Spot is here. Hmm. But there is another one. Interesting. Because here's the thing, the idea, the general idea of Sudoku is it seems easy in the beginning where you go putting numbers and then it get more and more complicated you notice. Wait, no, it can't be this because I already put the number there, so I need to do something else. It gets more complicated as you go. So uh, hold on a second while I'll figure this one out, okay guys? A little while later. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, so apparently we are not actually going to put all the jewels in. Okay, this does actually make it a bit easier. So let's put you here first. Then you, I guess I can put you either here or here. Let's put you here. For this one, you go here. <coughs> For the blue one, no, you can go here, 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 or here. Okay, so the blue one goes where the green one is. So let's put you here. You here. I guess I need to put you here because I was gonna put it here, but I just realized we don't have space for the diamond, the green, and the blue one. And the orange one can't come here because if I put the orange here, then the red one has to go either here or here, which it can't. So I need to put this one here. This orange one goes here, and this red one goes here. I've seen how to solve this now. And that's how it's done. You did it, is Sparkling Gem. Ah, that's much better. A beautiful jewel like that really needs to be kept in a proper jewelry box, doesn't it? Hey, hey, cat, a scrap of paper just fell off the bottom of the box. Here, look. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. There's something written on it. I'll read out so everyone can hear, miss. Ahem. The treasure was stones, precious stones, no one owned them, no one knew they were there. Until one day, a man stumbled upon them. More mumbo jumbo that makes no sense. It seems to be related to the zipper we found in the other room, don't you think? Mr. Fullhold, do you think it, it's a man stumbled upon precious stones? It seems we have a winner and some losers. 
Oh gosh, that voice made me jump. With the winners kindly progress to the next room, and the rest of you, please leave by the exit along the road to ruin. Oh, the road to ruin? I'm sorry we did not win, Eliza, but we're all thrilled to take part. Yes, Mr. Fullhold, this has been a lot of fun. If I lost everything, there is nothing to do but start again from scratch. A new adventure awaits. Ha <laughs> I, I suppose I'll have to manage somehow. But do you know what? I think I'll manage. What does it matter if I lose my fortune? I still have the memory of my loving parents. That's all I need. So for that reason, I'm out. That's the spirit, Liza. Come, this way. Thank you. Gotta say, their positivity is actually a very good, a good thing to have. They really took that on the muzzle, didn't they? Yes, most surprising. Their fortune does not mean as much to them as I, th I would have thought. Which I guess makes sense, because she lies in the heart of her fortune, while Fullhold is more of a thrill seeker, so he's probably used to losing a lot and also gaining a lot, so... Mm. Well, anyway, we must move to the next room. Let's go back to the hall and decide which one to tackle next. Treasury. Oh. There. <coughs> Captain Coach is the blue door room. Yeah. Sorry, I drink, I drink a bit of water. Alright then, which room next? Well, I picked the last door, so now it's your turn, Ernest. Uh, you picked the last two doors, but okay, whatever. Mimi's, oh, I don't. Just say the first thing that comes into your head. Um, well, there are only two rooms left, aren't there? So it's between the hope room and treachery. I think, um, I think it has to be the hope room. Good feeling? Miss Slater, I prefer to call it Miraculous Instinct, Cheryl. Alright then, the whole room it is. Let's open the green door and see what lies behind it. <laughs> 